twice. So tonight from the Conyers camp, there's no response to this. The citizens, me, retire. And had it, has Carolyn Smith. Sometimes I think the woman on drugs or some dog food or something. This made it official, in writing, from the clerk in regards to her recall petition against Miss Monica Conyers. Before it was official, she had a homemade petition which doesn't sign. Now she's on the first step in the real deal. Her list of reasons, this will take a moment. People think she saved Kobo. She didn't save Kobo. Because she got to find $300 million to fix that. On the Christian soldier. Everybody in this city ain't down for that. If you in a business meeting, business meeting is for business. Not none of that church going stuff. And the personal attacks. Sheila Cochran told her to shut up and go get her a man, Kwame Kenyatta, and he had cancer. Shrek. The mayor, she called him Shrek. Brooke Patterson being a racist. What do any of these things have to do with her doing her job. She's sick of it and sick too. Major surgery, January the 7th. I've been bed bound, I've been in this bed. I said, but I gotta get out here and walk to go take care of this with Monica Kindness. She's a lifelong Detroiter whose life is in print. I adopted 10 boys and one girl. And says for once in her life, she's tired of the tires spinning and deflated discourse as she sees it. She's acting ghetto. Very ghetto. You can be whatever you want to be in this world, but she's in a city official's job. I'm a Detroiter, and I'm a black woman. Now what? And I'm, I live in the ghetto. Now what? I'm just tired. Add it up, and it's recall on. And next that is on the itinerary is a meeting with the Board of Electors, which will take place on May 5th. The recaller and Miss Conyers are supposed to be there. And after they talk about wording at that meeting, then she'll have 90 days to collect 57,000 signatures. So clearly, Huell, this is step one in what will be many steps. Huell. Uh, Brad, in some cases, the leaders of recall campaigns end up running for office themselves. Is that what she plans to do? Well, the short answer is no. She says she has no intent. She's not running for office now. A caveat on that, though. She wouldn't rule it out long term, but right now the answer is no. All you right, Brad, thanks for that live report. As always, we want to hear from Monica Conyers. We expect to hear from her very soon.